G'day folks, welcome to the very first episode of the Monday Minute, five minutes where we talk about everything to do with your mindset, your motivation, inspiration, and the philosophy behind being an artist. My name's Rod Moore, founder of the Learn to Paint Academy, and in this very first episode, we're going to be talking about why today is the greatest time in history to be an artist. <music> Okay, so welcome to the brand new YouTube channel, Paint With Rod, and um, what I want to be doing in this YouTube channel is having a few different segments that appeal to different types of artists. So we're going to have our Friday session where we have our Paint With Rod segment. I'll take you on my painting journeys, I'll show you behind the scenes of what I'm painting and in the studio and so on. Um, we're also going to be doing a Wednesday video where we talk about the business side of art. Uh, but in this Monday minute, we're going to talk about five minutes, or try and keep it to five minutes, where we talk about, you know, really the most important thing about being an artist, which is all about your mindset, how you think, um, your motivation, your inspiration levels, um, and the philosophy behind being an artist. And, um, you know, we live in the greatest time in history, I believe, to be an artist. And I'll touch on three key reasons why I think that in a moment. But really, it is the best time ever to be an artist. Um, but you need to have your thinking right, your mindset right, because the opportunities that present themselves are only opportunities. And if you can't take advantage of them through having a well-organized uh, mindset, you know your thought processes, what your belief systems are, then you're going to struggle to take advantage of the opportunities that present themselves right now today. And um, I think the opportunities today are better than they've ever been for artists. In fact. You know, um, for those of you who don't know me, you'll get to know me through the channel here, of course. Uh, but I've been a um, an artist since November 2010 when I did my very first oil painting. I got hooked. I'd fluffed around with watercolor for a few years before that, but in November 2010, I did my very first oil painting, and I was totally hooked. And um, I set about on a journey to become a full-time professional artist. And for the last seven years or so, that's exactly what I've done. I've been able to build a big business around my art, uh, which involves a whole range of things. It involves teaching art online, teaching workshops, um, producing and selling my own artwork. It was one of my pieces there that I'm working on at the moment um, and up on the walls there. Um, so I've sold work all around the world. In fact, I've sold you know close to 700 pieces of work so far. Um, and you know, I'd mentor up and coming artists uh, in a variety of different capacities, and there's a, a number of other things that I've got going on, right? Now, the other reason why I tell you all that is because if you went back 15, 20 years ago, I wouldn't have been able to do any of it because the opportunity wasn't there like it is today. So, let's talk about three reasons why I think it's literally the greatest time in history to be an artist. And if you've lived your whole life dreaming about one day, you know, I'd love to be an artist, or one day I'd like to learn painting, but you never thought it was possible, you didn't know where to start, didn't know what to do, maybe you thought you didn't have any myth, uh, sorry, any natural talent, which is a myth, um, then maybe you've held yourself back. Well, I'm here to tell you in this video, today, it's never gonna get any better than it is right now today. So let's talk about three things, or three reasons why I believe. <laughs> Reason number one should be pretty obvious is that there's um, more opportunity today than ever before for artists like you and I to go and find out what we need to know, right? So because of the internet, YouTube and, and websites and online courses, um, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, as long as you've got a mobile phone and an internet connection, right? You can access the knowledge of some of the greatest artists in the world who are teaching people how to paint. Now that was never possible before in history, right? You know, going back 15 years ago, when I started my first YouTube channel back in, uh, what was it, 2011, um, it took me two or three days to upload a video, right? So um, that was the early days, right? Uh, but today, on YouTube alone, you can access more information than you'll ever need. Um, you can find more courses on learning to paint. You know, at the Learn to Paint Academy, um, which is what I started, you know, we've got 65 courses and 150 painting projects, right? So there's more access to information on how to paint than there's ever been before. You don't need today to go to a university and get an arts degree, 
Right? In fact, I have no formal training or education whatsoever, um, but I've been able to live as a full-time artist for the last seven years because I had access to information. So just through your phone and the internet, you can get access to everything you need to know about becoming a successful artist, right? And that includes the painting skills, um, the mindset stuff, although not a lot of artists are talking about the mindset stuff, which is why I've started this little five-minute uh, Monday session, um, but also the business skills of art, right? And um, we teach that as well through the Artist Business Academy. So reason number one why it's the best time in history for you to be an artist, it's the greatest time in history, is because you have access to information that just wasn't possible 15 years ago, 20 years ago. And it's up to you to decide, am I going to take advantage of it or not, right? Am I going to seize the opportunity? Am I going to reach out and find the information? Now, there's one caveat to that. If you're on YouTube and you bounce around from one artist to another to another and you end up watching 20 different artists, what you're going to find is there's 20 different ways of going about things. And you might end up confused, right? So what you want to do is find an artist whose message really resonates with you. And you think, you know what? I really like this guy. I like the way he paints. I like the way he teaches. And I like the way he thinks. I'm going to follow him. And just immerse yourself in that artist um, and you know, follow them until you've learned and extracted every bit of information you can from them rather than bouncing around. Because I promise you, you'll just end up confused if you bounce around you know, 20 different styles of art and 20 different artists, okay? So that's reason number one. <laughs> so reason number two why I think it's the greatest time in history is simply inspiration. We have access today to be able to see what millions of artists around the world are doing. They're posting their artwork up on Facebook and Instagram and here on YouTube and Pinterest and on their blogs and on online art galleries, right? There's more access to seeing great artwork than we've ever had in the history of the world. And what that means is we can find styles, subjects, methods that inspire us and we can start to put together our own reference library of what really turns us on as artists, right? Not to copy, but to use as a, a source of inspiration or motivation. And this is certainly what I've done. I've, um, over the years, I've identified a number of artists whose work I absolutely love, right? And I went and I downloaded every photo of theirs I could find on the internet and printed them off and put them into books. So now whenever I feel I need inspiration, what am I going to paint? What's, you know, what's my subject? Um, these artists are the ones that I've, after looking at hundreds and hundreds of artists, I've chosen as the ones that I feel most inspired by, right? So these are my inspiration books. Um, so the opportunity for you today to, to find inspirational material from other artists and to be inspired and spurred on um, is unprecedented. We've never had that before. You go back 20 or 30 years ago, really, the only way to see art back then, besides seeing it on the wall in your Aunt Martha's uh, lounge room, right, um, was to go to a museum, right, if you ended up in France, you could go to the Louvre or Musée d'Orsay, um, or go to an art gallery, right? So, which I never did. I always felt a little bit intimidated going into art galleries as growing up, so I never went into an art gallery, right? Um, or going to an art fair or an art show, like a local show that's put on by the local art group um, or service group, right? So that was the only way that you could really um, get inspired by other artists in those times, right? Uh, it was difficult to meet artists and, and now it's so much easier. So reason number two is that the amount of inspirational material out there, if you go and search for it and collate it, which is what I've done, I'll show you my inspiration books in another episode of this. But if you go and search for it and collate it, then the information is definitely out there for you um, to help you become inspired and, and uh, you know, to plug into that inspiration whenever you need to. Okay, so reason number three why I think it's the greatest time in history to become an artist um, and to live your dream as an artist is because of something called community. Now, I would never have thought of this as being uh, something that was important to artists, right? Because it's not something that I was necessarily looking for for myself. But what my students in the Learn to Paint Academy tell me that one of their favourite things about the Learn to Paint Academy um, is the community that we've developed. So we've brought together a group of uh, inspired artists from all over the globe who are all on their own individual art journeys, but collectively supporting and cheering each other on. And I didn't realise the power of that, you know, because 
I'm, I personally was quite happy to sit here and just work away. But I do realise and appreciate that being an artist can be a lonely journey, especially if you don't have a local art group um, that you can go to and, and interact with people there, right? Or maybe that you just don't connect with them. Um, or maybe it's too far for you to travel to get to that local art group. So your next best option is an online community. Now, through the Learn to Paint Academy, We've had over 100,000 students come through in various levels and stages over the last decade, right? And we've been able to form this amazing community. And we get together in a number of ways. We, we run live challenges where all our members come together in, in Zoom sessions and we, we paint together, um, we follow a challenge and so on. And then we post up our results and we cheer each other on, right? And, and that's a beautiful thing. So we do that every month or two. We have a live challenge for our members um, and live online painting workshops. And that's just, you know, when you start to see the same faces and you see their progress and you engage in a dialogue with people, and these are people all around the world, that it makes you feel like you belong to something, right? You have that sense of community, which I think is so important. And then we have within the Learn to Paint Academy, um, we have our community forum where our members on every, every day are posting up what they're working on. They go through our courses, our projects, and they're posting up their latest results and what they're working on and getting feedback from each other and so on. Um, so community, I think, is so important for so many artists, especially if you're in that phase of the early stages where you're unsure, you're doubting yourself, wondering whether you have any talent, right? We'll talk about that in another video. Um, but if you're in that early stage and you're just not sure, then um, you know getting around a community of people is so important. And there's lots of different places you can go to find communities of artists online. It helps if they all have a common uh, commonality, right? So the reason why the Learn to Paint Academy one works so well is we're all focused on the courses and the projects and, and the methodology we teach at the Learn to Paint Academy. Um, so you want to just be careful of community groups that are too uh, diverse, right? So you want to have a commonality that brings you all together, otherwise the communities don't tend to, to, uh, to stick around um, or, or last, right? Or give you what you want from them. So community is the, uh, the next most important. And I've found that there have been students that have come through the Learn to Paint Academy um, who probably would have quit, you know, when they get frustrated or life gets in the way, but the community has kept them engaged and brought them back to their art when the time was right. And that's why I think community can be so, so important. So there you go, folks. Three reasons why I think it's the greatest time in history to be an artist right now. Number one, because we have access to so much information. You can become a self-taught artist just by finding information on the internet. And if you find an organized, coordinated, and structured learning system like we offer at the Learn to Paint Academy, you can you know fast track your results from there. Number two reason is, it's so easy to become inspired about art today. Um, you know, there's so many artists posting great work that you can look at, you can collate together your favorite artists. And even non-artwork, like, well, I shouldn't say that, like photography, right? If you've got a subject you particularly like to paint, like landscapes, you can find photographers taking great photos, right? And, and um, start to get inspired by that. So inspiration is number two reason. And number three, one I overlooked, and I hope you don't, is getting involved in a community um, of artists who are all on a similar path, but each uniquely on their own art journey, I think can make a massive difference to so many artists, right? So um, I highly recommend that. So folks, I think that's more than five minutes, so I do apologize. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to rename it, who knows? Uh, but thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you thought of this, uh, you know, uh, Monday motivation or Monday minute, five minutes. I haven't really thought of a name. Leave a comment below and tell me what you think the name of this session should be each Monday, right? I like to think of it as a bit of a motivational rev up, but we don't want to be too rah-rah, but we want to start thinking the right way as artists, right? So you tell me in the comments what you think the name of this session should be. And um, who knows, we might change it to what you think. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel and look out for more from us here on the Paint With Rod channel. And uh, happy painting until then. Cheers for now.